What's up, man? It's your boy Walker right here. Y'all are watching episode two of I Do This For You called Hoop Dreams. Without further ado, let's get it started. Seconds left now. 20-13 is the score. Well, Merritt's got it up top. Let's see what uh, Bluffs is going to do. Going to try to find Hartman, I'm sure. And they skip pass over to Hartman. He's got a dri driving lane. The left baseline goes up. Nice move off glass and scores. Wow. Hartman, an excellent sixth man. He's got eight. And at the end of the first half, it's... I do this for my father, move I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for I do this for my mother, who's finally clean and no longer a fan. I do this for I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for all the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, move I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean, no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. Not at all. And Hartman, they found something offensively with Hartman, I believe, has line eye bluffs. He's very quick, a good first step, good shooter. So he's one of those guys that you got to pick your poison with. Yeah, the key's got to be getting the ball to him. When I get the ball in his hands when he's open and, and let him make something happen. So basically what I want to do with this video is, you know, start to show you guys, people that watch, you know, a little bit about my life. And a big part of my life ever since I was, like, in the third grade was basketball. So this episode was just to, like, show you, you know, from the time I started playing basketball, how the passion for that grew and how it grew. You know, so a little background story. Before I had basketball, I was real passionate about martial arts, karate. My dad is a sixth degree black belt, you know, and pretty much nationally known for what he does. And he's just probably one of the hardest working dudes I've, I've ever met in my life. So when it comes to doing his job, when it comes to karate, being a father, being a husband, you know, he works till he's exhausted. And, you know, that's something I tried to incorporate in my life, whether it was with karate, with basketball, not really with school. But uh, I don't really talk about this a lot, but my dad, he, you know, when it comes to people I idolize and look up to, he's like, he's number one. So. I say, I say I idolize Kobe Bryant, and like, not idolize, but look up to Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Stephen Curry, guys like that. But honestly, the number one person who I look up to is my dad. It's, it's, it's been that way since I was a kid. I, I've been, I was trying to do stuff my dad was doing. And <clears throat> a big thing about his life was work hard. So that's not really genetical, but that's something I learned from him at a young age. So when it came to karate, I was real, you know, I was real about it. I was passionate about it. You know, around fifth grade when I started getting serious about basketball, I, I took what I learned in, you know, the karate dojo on that hardwood. I took it and used that to really make basketball my passion. So while we, you know, work out on, you know, different different things, he has karate and I have basketball, we still kind of connect with how passionate we are about that. So, you know, that's one thing I really thank him for, you know, every time I get the chance to, every time, you know, birthday or something, I'm always thanking him for really putting that in me. And this, that's something that I feel like is in my blood. You know, fam I got a family full of people that work hard, sisters, uh, grandparents, you know, and it's that, gen that gene runs deep for me. Hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work, work, hard work, 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 hard work, work, hard work, work, hard work, that's what they say, hard work, hard work, I earn my pay, hard work, hard work, do it every day, hard work, I get up about a quarter to three, hard work, work to go and earn my pay, hard work, work, my boots on and lace them up, hard work, got another day to work, hard work, hard work, that's what they say, hard work, hard work, I earn my pay, hard work, I get off the rock, I move on down, work to go. 
make the call. Hard work, bring it on the doors in the morning. So my mom used to tell this story of when I was in the fourth grade and we just lost the game to like East Peoria or something like that. And I, uh, I asked the coach, I said, coach, so-and-so, I'm not gonna say his name, what can I do to get better? And he said to me, like right from my mom and everything, he said, frankly, Walker, I don't think you're gonna be good enough to play basketball at the college and high school level. I don't think you'll be quick enough, fast enough, strong enough, or big enough. So that's where a lot of my motivation started. That's why I started working real hard. And like, when we were leaving, I looked at my mom and I wasn't even like phased by it. I just like told her, I was like, I guess I gotta work harder. And that's what I did. I basically been counted out my whole life, you know. Even even in school, I had a, my math teacher in my junior year told me she didn't think I would be successful in college. Not even like just basketball, like in life. She said, I don't think you'd be success. I don't think you're gonna be successful after this. Like, I, I don't believe in you at all. And I took that to heart. And at first, like, it kind of just, like, brought me down because people that are in my life like that, you know, you would expect to believe in you. And, you know, through high school, you'd have friends that say, you know, you're really not that good behind your back. So I've kind of had that doubt being thrown at me since I was in eighth grade. People telling me you're not going to get on varsity. You know, people were telling me to my face, oh, you can play varsity, and then behind my back talking, like, that I'm not good enough. So doubt don't really mean nothing to me, and I don't really take what people say at face value. You know, you gotta show me. So basically what hoop dreams means for me is like, it's like, it's a journey. So it started when I was in third grade when I started playing basketball and I really wasn't that good. I wasn't good until this thing happened with my coach in the fourth grade. And I started working really hard in the fifth grade. I realized like it was something that, you know, I wanted to take priority over other things like, you know, like karate. So that's really when it started. And like I had a basketball in my hand. I used to sleep with the basketball. I'd take basketball out to eat. My mom used to have to yell at me to keep it in the car. You know, basketball for me was always like an outlet because I was like an outcast uh, where where I'm from. And it wasn't until like later in life when I was, you know, in high school, I started meeting some of my best friends through basketball. And obviously basketball helped make my bond closer with friends that I had uh, throughout high school, some some of my close friends from high school, but like, you know, guys like Nick, uh, Walt, Toriano, Kendall, uh, Ike, Corn, Jeremy, you know, guys on my team, Brody, Garrett, guys from Judson, guys from RMU, guys from Lincoln, you know, that's like a bond that I'll always have with guys like that, and I'm definitely appreciative of that. So when I step on the court, I'm going 100 miles per hour the whole time, you know, it doesn't matter who I'm playing against, like, the best cats from Peoria, you know, I'm going at them. I do want to play basketball overseas, I do want to play basketball professionally and make money doing this, this is what I want to do, and I feel like I'll be a failure if I fall short of that goal.